Hi everybody, it's Bill Essler, Woodworking Network, coming to you live from the Akoya Group, the Akoya booth at uh, the Las Vegas Convention Center here at the AWFS Fair. We're in booth 7380 for a pretty exciting product introduction. You know the makers of Akoya, uh, Axis Group produces Akoya, the wood that will last forever under the harshest condition. Uh, they've come up with a new product here, Tricoya. It's an MDF that's based on the Axis technology, and we're going to learn about it, and we'll also have a chance to talk to some of the first users of the Tricoya MDF. Uh, so I'd like to begin by introducing uh, the folks who are with me. We have Randy Clark, who is an expert on Tricoya uh, and uh, based in Washington State. And Randy's going to tell us the basics about Tricoya, uh, its applications, how it's made, and availability. And then we're going to have a chance to talk to Gary, Gary Zakia, who is with Architectural Door in Fairfield, Connecticut. He's been using it for about a year, and he's going to tell us his first experiences, uh, both machining it, the customer satisfaction with it, its applications, his principal uh, product is garage doors, and then uh, we'll also field questions both from the crowd that's gathering here for the introduction of Tricoya at AWFS Fair, and also folks online. So you can uh, send in your questions through our online uh, site, and I guess someone will tell me the, the hashtag to use, and then we'll uh, make sure that we address those questions after we do a basic run through. So Randy, why don't you start off and tell us what is Tricoya? Thank you, Bill. Well, Tricoya, as you mentioned, is an MDF product, but it's unlike any other MDF that's out in the market today. We start with the Akoya wood, which is an acetylated wood product where we modify the hydroxyl units in the wood so that it's now acetyl units. So about 80% of all the hydroxyl units are modified to acetyl units. Acetyl units do not absorb or adsorb water like the regular wood does. Therefore, it doesn't shrink and swell nearly as much. And when you start with that base material, you can make the chips and then put it into the normal manufacturing process for MDF using an isocyanate adhesive. You make a panel, just like the MDF but that panel is as stable as the other acetylated wood. Okay. So it doesn't shrink and swell nearly as much. It's truly a, an exterior grade because it doesn't shrink and swell nearly as much as other composite panels. Okay. And it actually can compete against other materials that are used in exterior conditions like fiberglass and PVC and steel because okay. it has very good thermal properties and now it also has moisture properties. And then the other two advantages of it are decay resistance, okay. so it is acceptable for use in ground contact and termite or insect resistance. Okay. And now we have Gary with us and he's been using it about a year, but you, uh, how long uh, has Tricoya been available? Uh, are they using it in other countries? Yes. It's manufactured in, mainly in Ireland and a little bit in Chile, and they have been manufacturing it and selling it in Europe for five years. Okay, and so we have some pretty exciting uh, stories and applications that people have uh, used it for both exterior and, uh, and interior too, uh, crossovers? Okay. Yes, we do. All right, um, so maybe we could ask uh, Gary as, a, as one of the first users here in the States, tell us a little bit about what you guys produce at Architectural Door and then uh, how you use uh, Tricoya. Our main product is garage doors, which is an exterior item, so we have to make sure we have a good exterior product. Um, we have received a patent in 2012 that was filed for 2008 to take sheet good material, carve it into a custom design to make a custom door less expensive and a lot quicker. Um, so we've used different wood composites, and we've tried PVC over the years. Um, but this came along. This is a carving that we did. Um, just for the show. So we use it for uh, routering out on a CNC machine. And the first thing you notice is it routes very clean, like a very high quality MDF you would see, but of course this is an exterior grade. Um, doesn't really require any sanding. And um, the other products we've used, we had a seal. Um, 
once we cut them and route them, they don't have the same properties once they're routed into, okay. the same water resistance. This being a homogenous product, um, it has the same water resistance when you cut into it. Um, I haven't had any callbacks at all. Okay. And, um, you know, we could send it out unfinished, but um, we send everything out with an oil primer. Um, it can be water-based prime, but all our wood doors are normally oil prime, so we okay. just continue that on. That seems to be working very well. And then we can top coat it with pretty much any other okay. one. So you've made some different styles of doors with this. Uh, what are the different shapes and formats of doors that you produce? Um, on our uh, patented product, um, we make all different designs out of the sheet. It's just carved in the sheet, different panels, raised panels, recessed panels, um, wainscoting type panels. Um, but we also use the uh, Tricoya for regular wood frame doors um, for the inset panels. We can actually carve into those to make um, that wainscoting look, that tongue and groove look, without having to use real wood. And there's a lot of advantages to using this over real wood, because when you put real wood together, it's going to expand and contract. You get gaps in between the boards, you get some checking in the boards. So even in a solid wood door, we'll use the um, Tricoya as the panels for the door. On that paint gray product. Paint gray product. Okay, that's awesome. And um, one of the things you mentioned uh, when we were talking before we went uh, online is that uh, customers prefer wood doors if they can get them. Uh, is uh, Tricoya making it possible to make a durable door that competes with steel? Yes. Um, one of the main advantages over steel is this will not dent. If you have any kids playing ball in your driveway, they're going to have a dented steel door <laughs> okay. in no time. And this is very forgiving. Um, if this gets damaged, um, you can either bond it or an epoxy putty, okay. sand it smooth, paint it, you never know if there is a hit. Okay, so it's behaving a lot like a premium wood product. How would you compare this to other FDF? The fine working shop talk live podcast with John Ratzenberger is taking place now at the stage near booth 5527. Again, join us for the Fine Woodworking Shop Talk Live podcast with John Ratzinger. Okay. There's been a lot of, we've noticed reduced labor with using this material. So once it comes out of the machining process and it gets laminated onto the base frame wood door that we make, um, there's not a lot to do to it before it goes into priming. So we're saving a lot of labor on that end of it. We're not having to seal anything, sand very much. Okay. Um, so it goes into priming usually the same day instead of doing an overnight thing with some sealer and stuff. So okay. it's been a tremendous help in our production process. Now, how do you get your Tricoya? How what's your how does it get to you? Where do you My buy hardwood it? supplier um, that I was buying a lot of hardwood from when we were doing a lot of stain doors, um, but now paint grade seems to be much more popular. So as my sales were declining with my hardwood supplier, and I was buying wood composite materials, which is our biggest selling door by far, sure. um, he was introduced to this because they carry the Akoya, which um, they've had for a little while. So when he went to uh, some seminar about this, um, I don't know if Randy might have been there at that point, um, he called me right from the place and he said, all right, we're taking you back. We're, we got a better product for you than what you've been using. Okay. So, and uh, Randy, do you know his supplier? I do know his supplier. Okay. Uh, that's Rex Lumber. Okay. And they're one of our distributors here in North America for Tricoya, which is relatively new. As you mentioned earlier, Gary is one of the first guys to adopt us. So he's an early adopter, which we appreciate. And it's luckily it's doing very well. And as a first uh, user, usually they have to go through all of the ups and downs, but there haven't been ups and downs, which is kind of very positive. But this is an ideal application that Gary is talking about. Um, he didn't mention you can also paint it black or darker colors, which are typically a problem with any of the other faces that you would put on an entry door or a garage okay. door. All right. And um, so some of the other customers that are using it, uh, what are the types of things that, uh, you know, that they're being applied to? Well, it's interesting because it keeps expanding. Initially, people will be looking at it for replacing existing moisture-resistant MDF because they're having a problem such as edge swelling or warping, and it would be worth the extra cost to buy this material. And that is a no-brainer. It makes sense. You use this MDF, replace it with Tricoya. Um, and that would be entry door systems. It's very popular. Grill bars, like you're seeing behind you, um, work very well because there are no joints and it doesn't shrink and swell. It's compatible with the double stick tape that you used to put on glass. Again, you can paint it black or any other color that you wish, and even with water-based paints. 
Um, besides that, it's been going into signs, exterior signs, because you okay. can buy it in sheet form, route in a, a name. That's and a great application. Yeah, yes, to endure the weather. Um, so we have quite a crowd here. Do you guys have questions out there? Anyone have a question for our, the Tricoya expert? This is um, MDF that's warranty for 50 years. And uh, we have Gary Zakia, who's using it to make garage doors. He's been using it about a year. Uh, uses the Apoya process, uh, acetylation, to uh, make that MDF stable. Um, any questions out here in our live audience? Um, I'm going to grab some questions that are coming in online. We have an iPad here with, uh, well, I guess this is a, uh, an Android, uh, with some questions. So, let's see. Um, okay, how long has Tricoya been in production is the first question we got submitted online. Well, as I mentioned, it's been selling in Europe for five years. But there was a lot of background work that went into it. Some of the initial MDF made with Aceto, made with in 1989. Can you guys hear him? You have to talk up for the live people. No. It's not, not often I'm being told I'm too quiet, so okay. that's... <laughs> Um, so it's the technology has been in development since about 1989 okay. to make the exterior grade MDF, but production on a full scale has been going on since. Uh, okay. since well. All right, and how available is it now? Like you found your supplier, uh, where else can people get it, Randy? There are several distributors here in North America. Um, you can see the signs down here: Universal Forest Product. Okay. Here. Canada, okay. Uh, we carry it today. And I it, see. It is uh, a product that we are just introducing to the United States, so hopefully they will be carrying it a lot more of it. It'll be more readily available than it is today. Okay. Um, all right. Now maybe you could talk a little bit more about the machining. Uh, and I'd be curious, Gary, uh, in your shop, uh, as you are, you know, you're making garage doors. Are there other things that you could see suddenly, hey, this MDF is really stable. What I could use it for other things. Uh, we do make garage door stop molding out of it. So the weather seal that goes around the door. Okay. A lot of people are doing arches in the top of the door now. Nice. So this is nice and flexible. Okay. And uh, we just cut a kerf cut in the side here with a router. And we have a tube seal that goes in. Um, we use the thicker, the thicker tricoya for that. And it works out really well to make the, uh, the door trim because okay. um, it's good for arches. And um, normal garage door stop is plastic and it's got a big rubber flange and it looks like a piece of lasagna when you try to bend it. Okay. Um, so we make um, door stop out of this. It comes out really nice and I know it's not going to rot. It'll never be replaced. Very interesting. So um, how about in your own like personal life? Would you ever make anything at home for your... Own well, you know, I have, um, part of my house has been changed to PVC. Um, the other half of the trim is just rotted pine. Uh -huh. It's getting bad, so <laughs> I think I'm just going to replace it with this, because we did the PVC in 2013, okay. did the new porch, we did trim around the porch, and all the seams are blowing up. Like, the PVC is just moves way too much, yeah, and I know stable. the carpenters glued it, screwed it, and the seams are still opening up. Right. So the rest of the house, as it's rotting, is I'm going to be using this material. That's very interesting. So he's taking it home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so Gary, tell us a bit about your business. How many people are there? Um, you know, how do you get orders? And who do you sell to? Um, we're a custom shop, so every job is uh, made to order. We don't make anything ahead of time. It's not made for stock. Um, we do CAD drawings. We sit with architects or homeowners or builders or other door installers. And uh, we come up with the design, the size, the uh, headroom clearance, the tracking, okay. um, then we put it all together on our CAD design and um, submit it. Once it gets approved, um, the information goes down to the factory and um, the first line is the, the guy pulls it out and builds the base frame. Um, the second line is the machine is programmed with whatever design this is. This is just three different cutters made this, a V-groove cutter, a bead cutter, and a, a square cutter just to cut out the windows. Okay. Those get uploaded in the CNC machine. It gets carved in a matter of minutes. Okay. Those sheets are then put on the, uh, the base frame in a vacuum press. It's so much faster than piecemeal. And if you want to make Tongue and Groove for a garage door like this, it's a two-day process okay. to mill and cope and assemble all that. This is uh, in the press within an hour. Okay. 
So one of the things they, uh, to demonstrate the Akoya wood, and now I suppose the Trikoya, they always soak it in water. Did you soak uh, the wood in water to see what would happen if it yeah. would swell? Yeah, what we happened? left it in for a couple months. <laughs> um, and what, what was it like? We took it out and we lined it up next to a dry piece, and it hadn't swelled at all. Believe it or not. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. And yeah. then we, right now we have a piece that we dug in the mulch in our landscaping in front of the building. We uh -huh. stuck it in the mulch into the okay. dirt for about, about six inches. It's been there since last fall. Um, hasn't done anything except turned a little bit of grayish color, a little silvery kind of color. Okay. So for those who just joined us online or if you're, you don't know what we're talking about here, well, this is the introduction of Tricoya MDF from the folks that bring you Akoya. And uh, with us is Gary Zakia, architectural door, Fairfield, Connecticut. He makes garage doors. And then Randy Clark, the Tricoya expert. So it's a brand new MDF that's warranted for 50 years. Uh, and as Gary just said, he soaked it for two months and didn't swell. So are there questions here? Yeah, okay. Is there a... How about that? How about fasteners? And uh, the good question. How do you, how does it work with um, fasteners and hardware? We don't put any face fasteners in the uh, mm -hmm. because they will definitely move. Um, anytime you nail a face and nail face fasteners into the material, okay. Um, you can't really putty them, and the nails will come out. So we use um, uh, a water-based wood glue. We roll the whole thing. When it goes in the press, we just use some one-inch staples around the edges to hold it while it's in the press. Um, once the glue is set. It's just a homogeneous block of material that doesn't move. Okay. And then we and have then a question. Well, we have if a I could add to that, sure. if you're going to be using it for decking or other applications, and you might have some fasteners, you should still use the exterior grade fasteners like you would with Western Red Cedar and others. This does have a little lower pH, uh, so it can be more acidic. But it's normally going to be finished, and the finish will provide a barrier, and that's why you won't see corrosion and other things with the, with the metal fasteners. Okay, so we have, we're streaming online as, long, as well as uh, you folks being here with us today. We have some questions that are coming in on Twitter. Uh, first question is, um, what thickness, uh, this is from Keith, sheet sizes are available? Right now in the United States, North America, the standard thicknesses, there are five of them. Six millimeters, so I apologize if, if this is uh, not imperial, but six millimeter, nine millimeter. Uh, 12 millimeter, 15 millimeter, and 18 millimeter standard thicknesses. Widths are two foot and four foot, and lengths right now eight foot and 10 foot. But if anybody wanted to buy container size quantities, we can get up to 18 foot lengths. And but it has to be feet long. Yes. Okay. All right. And uh, how about what sizes do you buy? Um, we use the six millimeter for inset panels in a traditional inch and three eighths wood frame garage door. Okay. Um, when we make the uh, the conjurgo, we call it, the spacing, we use the uh, 12 millimeter. Okay. Um, if we're doing a square edge without the bead, we'll use the 9 millimeter. Okay. Um, we don't really use anything thicker than that, though. All right. Uh, now we have another question here from Louie. What's the price for a 10 pack, and is there a California distributor? Um, I'll answer the second part. There are a couple of California distributors. Uh, looking at the chart, you'll see that we have. Uh, Sierra and Royal Plywood are both in California. And as far as the price, I've been told if I talk about it, I, I will get in trouble. So uh, you need to talk to those two distributors to get the, okay. the pricing. All right. So from your experience, uh, just ballparking, how does it compare with regular MDF, like a high-end MDF? It's a little more expensive. It's similar in price to sheets of PVC. Okay. So, um, yeah. But worth it for the, what you're getting. Yeah. It's Far superior than PVC from where we're using. Okay. Um, so, uh, any other questions here from our live audience? Uh, anybody? Okay. Um, now we have a question on. Um, let's see. We talked about machining it. Um, how about the testing of it in uh, the development of this product, and how is it tested? Maybe you could talk. Randy's our Tricoya expert. Tell us about the testing and before it was ruled out. No, I could talk for an hour on that. <laughs> real, real brief. Um, for North American standards, we've done the traditional ANSI A135.6, which is for engineered wood siding. We've done the ASTM for exterior wood and composite products, D1037. 
um, and we always exceed what the minimum requirements are for the industry. But what's really been of interest, and of course we do the American Preservers Association for um, standards for ground contact for termites as well as decay. Okay. And we have all these great reports that we can share with people, but it's the tests like Gary was talking about soaking in water that also get done often, and that's really what people listen to. And one of the tests that has been popular that gets shared and then done more than ASTM is a dishwasher test. It's amazing how many people will put a sample in their dishwasher, okay. which is very extreme, <laughs> hot water, heat, and as Gary was mentioning, if you then put it on a table after it's gone through 30 washes and a, a control, the regular one untreated, uh, untested next to it, it's still the same thickness, the surface quality is still smooth. It's very impressive to do those tests as well as standard. Okay. So, um, if people want to get a free sample, uh, how do they do that? Can they do that here at the booth or they can, can they order it online? We have samples here. They can go to our website, um, tricoy.com, acquire.com, and you can request samples. They can also go to any of the distributors and request samples, and then they'll just get sent to them. Okay, so you can then put, get a sample and put it in your own dishwasher and yes. see how it holds up. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Um, any other questions here? Uh, see. Okay. Uh, from uh, Sue Southerton, um, how does it compare to regular MDF and weight? So you could tell us technically, and you could tell us in the real, real world. Um, typical MDF is going to be 44 to 49 pounds per cubic foot, and that's exactly where Tricoya is at. The thinner product, um, 6 millimeter, 9 millimeter, is a little more dense, so about 77 pounds, 47 pounds, but the thicker material is a little lower dense density about uh, 45 46 pounds per cubic foot okay and how about it it's slightly it? lighter than the other wood composites we've used okay. um, I don't know the other stuff is based on the American standard so this is like 0.47 is that what it is yeah. yeah so it's um, well I mean the thickness so it's slightly undersized of a half inch, and I don't know if that okay. is anything new, but it's definitely a little bit lighter than the other wood composites we use. It's okay. a little bit heavier than the PVC, though. Know. Okay, that's interesting. Um, now let's see. Uh, now this is from Keith again. Uh, I can't see the list of distributors. Who would be closest to Minneapolis? Okay, well we have Universal Forest Products, which has a national footprint, I think, in the U.S., uh, also part of Upper Canada Forest Products. We've got uh, Royal Plywood Company, Rex Lumber Company, I think they're Western, and then uh, Sierra. Um, so let me know. Um, okay. Um, who wants to find out distributors, if they go to the website, would they find a list there? Yes, there will be a map on the website. So for Minneapolis, I don't but Sierra has a facility in Chicago. Okay. All right. So anyone who wants to submit a question through Twitter, hashtag Tricoya, T-R-I-C-O-Y-A, and then we'll uh, get the questions right here. So those just joining us, I'm with Randy Clark, the Tricoya expert uh, at Axis Group uh, here at the Las Vegas Convention Center in AWFS Fair, and Gary Zakia. Uh, the owner of Architectural Door in Fairfield, Connecticut, one of the first users of the new Tricoya MDF product. An MDF with a 50-year it's dishwasher proof on top of it. So really uh, quite an exciting product. Um, I have a question on the warranty. How available to the customer, to the end user? It is. Um, the 50-year warranty is for the customer who's buying it, the next customer, and then transfer to the third homeowner, if okay. the second homeowner, if there's one Okay. So, uh, Gary, has that come up for you? Do you actually give a person something that they feel warranty? Um, you know, compared to them buying steel doors, they all have lifetime warranty. Yeah. And if they want a wood product, it's nice to be able to tell them this has a 50-year warranty on it, okay. which most of these people are not going to be around in 50 years. So. Okay. So do you give them a piece of paper that says here it's warranty? Yes, when we give them a proposal, it specifies. Because the, the hardware has a different warranty. Rings and traction hardware.
Warranty so it's stuff. incorporated into the contract when they yes. order. Okay. And uh, what if somebody wanted to make Yeah. <laughs> so no one's ever made a claim on Tricoya. Question for the oil plywood, and are you selling uh, the so this uh, this is uh, the formaldehyde? It is good. Now we can actually go to the audience. Like okay. Old school. Can you hear me? Yeah. We. non-formaldehyde uh, resin, so I just assign a MDI resin, and it is we have formaldehyde approval, and the plant that is phase two compliancy, so you can get carb phase two if you, if you wanted that. And you mentioned California, but that is becoming a, a USA standard across all states. Mark Smith, who's one of the uh, renowned uh, educators in the industry, uh, you came over to look at Tricoya? I did, yes. Uh, I noticed that new breed of MDF there in the shark. It was very interesting looking. Okay. And uh, so had you heard about Tricoya or know anything? Okay. So it's an MDF with a 50-year warranty. What do you think of that? 50-year warranty? <laughs> Exterior 50-year warranty? How do they do that? There you go. <laughs> wow. So that's what we're spending some time here to explain to the audience. That's what my students so. need to know about. Okay, great. So bring them over. Uh, so, uh, okay, so we have Tricoya, an MDF with a 50 year warranty. It's treated like wood using the uh, technical process, the settlation. Is that the right way to say it? And uh, Randy can explain a little more in detail how that works. Well, this is usually where I put people to sleep when you start talking about acetylation. But it, it, the, the fun part of it is, is we're So we start with lumber, normally radiata pine, but we can do other species. And that is interjected. It's OH groups, and that's where it's fun. Is where units on that sales hemisphere and lignin of the wood and stable product because there's no longer the as many OH groups available to track water and you've also when it's in a dry condition it shrinks but because those OH groups are not there it doesn't shrink and swell and the same thing is true when we take that material the wood grind it up make fiber and mix it with the the MDF actually is is having the same properties. All right. So it will last and it will never break down. Um, have you ever used Akoya? I have, yes. We've used Akoya a few times, and I actually just have an order now for four doors out of Akoya. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. So what are they going to be shaped like? Tongue and groove overlay boards, and then a layer of trim on top of that. So we're ordering um, 9 sixteenths lumber. It'll be delivered in a couple weeks or so. And it's for a really high-end residential project in New Canaan, Connecticut. Very interesting. So um, so I just want to ask our tech people, Should I be, do I use this? Am I, is my lavalier? Lavalier? Okay. All right. So, okay, any questions from the audience about this Tricoya? So we're here today at the uh, Access Group booth. Uh, the folks that brought you Akoya never swells. 
uh, it never breaks down. You can use it in all kinds of uh, exterior and uh, water uh, exposure situations. Um, and now that same technology is being applied to MDF. A new MDF called Tricoya is being introduced at this convention center here at the AWFS Fair. Uh, we're in booth 7380 if you're on, on the ground. Over. I have to say buy a plane ticket. And Uh, on Twitter as well, hashtag Tricoya, T-R-I-C-O-Y-A, if you want to submit a question. Um, we've had a number. Um, so let's see. Uh, we talked about how it compares in weight, um, and we talked about machining, um, and we did talk about testing. How about some other projects? You, anything that you have in mind that you think you might carry? We, uh, we had to make an entry door that was an interesting product that... Um, it was nine feet tall, four very big, heavy door we had to make. And um, we actually used the used um, the 3.8 or the 9 millimeter um, tricoya and laminated that on all the sides to make a flush door and these steel accents into it. And this door is so big. Like, no one wanted to make it. A regular door manufacturer didn't want to make it. So we, we wanted to use the Akoya because that doesn't move. And then, of course, we ripped it up and glued it back and did all this stuff so um, it wouldn't move. And then we, didn't, we felt good putting the Tricoy on it because that hasn't moved at all either. That's one of the other things I've noticed when we switched to this is unbalanced um, sandwich of different woods together when you make a garage door. You only have the facing on the outside. Wood composites, you know, we steel strut everything to keep it straight, but before the struts go on, sometimes you can see them crowned to the outside. Since sections have been being dead flat. They haven't crowned at all, even without any which is kind of interesting. So the reason they crown out is because the outside, if it swells, it tends to, the only way it can move is to bow out. You can tell the material, it's not moving at all because the sections are not bowing since we switched to this. Very good. So, um, uh, Randy, are there some uh, projects that you've seen done with uh, this? Well, which you couldn't do with, with steel or, or other materials that will expand under temperature. Another one is the one we pointed out earlier. We really love these grill bars, so simulated divided lights. Because there are no joints, and it stays straight, even though you might machine it, put it on the CNC, and remove 90% of the material. There are stresses in the panel product that require it to bow, and it doesn't shrink and swell. Therefore, you can put it on the glass and other substrates, and it's going to stay adhered with the double stick tape. Again, you can paint it with water base and, and typical exterior coatings, and it performs very well. So we have a, a visitor to the booth who's taken a picture of uh, it, but uh, there's a fountain. Uh, and to show you that in four days, that thing will not swell or degrade. Uh, so that's a pretty striking uh, demonstration of the, its ability to withstand moisture um, and this unique product, Tricoya, a 50-year warranty MDF. Um, so uh, let's see, any questions from our audience? Uh, anything? Okay, here's a good question. A couple more have come in. We have a question. What is the name of the distri distributor who might have it in Chicago? Can someone just answer that one? Sierra. That would be Sierra Products. So uh, Sierra will have Yeah. Uh, this question um, is from Larry.
Can this material be used as a substrate under laminate or veneer? Uh, so well, let's have a technical and then a real world. Uh, simple answer is yes. That actually is a very good application for it as a substrate, especially if it's going to be exposed to high moisture, high or low temperatures. Um, it can also be using as a flooring substrate where MDF is being used today. Even though it's an interior application, it might have uh, big uh, benefits over regular interior MDF because it does not shrink and swell and you wouldn't get buckling. Um, countertops is another uh, application where it is a very good substrate. And the laminates that can be put on it um, are not limited. You can put wood veneer, high pressure laminates, foils, um, all uh, bond well to the Tricoya. And uh, Gary Zakia runs um, uh, Architectural Door, a garage door manufacturer in Fairfield, Connecticut. He has He's been producing uh, garage doors from Tricoya for the past year. And uh, so he's got real world experience with this um, machining on a CNC. Um, Gary, have you uh, tried doing any kind of laminating material to this? Uh, n not really, no, but it, it works so easy with all the adhesives that we've used that I think with the right adhesive, should be no problem. It's very easy to work with this material. So that was a very good question. Thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, here's a question on canopy painted. Is there any sp special process to ensure paint adhesion? So, what is, you want to talk about your well, what we do is um, we use an oil primer on all our wood doors. We just feel wood uh, oil is the best way to go with an oil primer. Um, I guess you can use, according to the experts, you can use water-based um, primers. But we oil prime everything, and then we top coat it with uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Randy, why don't you weigh in on this? You also talked about uh, painting on black, which, and maybe explain what's the challenge with that. So. Well, first, in general, the painting question is just using any exterior grade coatings that are designed for exterior use on wood work well with the Tricoya. That's actually one of the beauties of the Tricoya is it doesn't have these high amount of water repellents, doesn't have any silica, um, silicone that would af detrimentally affect adhesion. So the, again, that's the advantage of it. The black is a, an interesting issue because you've all seen um, what happens when you paint siding or front door black and then install it facing south and the sun hits it, you can get surface temperatures of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Substrate, that'll dry it out, it can shrink and swell, it'll warp. If you have a fiberglass or steel substrate, that'll expand through thermal expansion also with PVC, like PVC brick molds. So normally if you're gonna paint black, you have to have some UV inhibitors or, or reflecting material in it so that it doesn't uh, absorb the heat, but with the Tricoya, you can use a standard black paint, and even if it does get up degrees, it doesn't shrink and swell and warp and, and have problems. Um, so we have quite a crowd gathering here too, and this is exciting news for those who just joined us. We're we're at the Axis Group booth, uh, 7380, here at the AWFS Fair in the Las Vegas. With me is Randy Clark, the Tricoya expert, and Gary Zach of uh, Fairfield, Connecticut-based Architectural Door, uh, one of the first users of the new Tricoya product, an MDF with a 50-year warranty. Uh, so I know folks, uh, when they uh, see it, they're kind of astounded and they can't believe it's true. So don't All right, so now we're back. Okay, we're back. Uh, you can actually get a little uh, one by two cubes of the uh, Tricoya wood, the MDF that lasts for 50 years. Uh, so we have, let's see if we have some new questions here. Um, okay, uh, getting more information that came in. Uh, if you go to where, Randy? Tricoya.com. Uh, Okay, so it's T R. 
learn about availability and get samples of this new uh, MDF from the folks that brought you Akoya. Let's see. Uh, what else? What else can we talk about here? Um, maybe you could talk about your business. Uh, something that I thought was quite astounding. He runs a business that's super busy, he can hardly keep up, and he has no salespeople. So how do you do that, Gary? The phone just keeps ringing, so okay. and you, we have a certain limited capacity for how much we can produce in our current shop, so we are in the process of the facility. But until we can achieve that, I don't want to get too, uh, you know, our backlog at eight weeks is about pushing it now okay. for customers, so I don't want that to go up any higher until we move into so, um, and our, I'm looking for my producer here. Um, are we at, okay, so we have just a couple more minutes. If there's any more questions you want to submit here, uh, hashtag Tricoya on Twitter. Uh, and uh, any questions? We had some pretty exciting news here. Uh, the introduction of Tricoya MDF with the We're at the AW. And with me, Randy Clark, the Tricoya expert. You'll be able to reach Randy through tricoya.com. And Gary Zakia, architectural door in uh, Fairfield, Connecticut, one of the first users. He's used it for over a year. And he's told us the, kind of the real world deal on what it's like. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. And uh, thanks to the folks at Access Group for. Uh, Thing, and uh, you yeah. had two fans. Yeah. <laughs>